Well, welcome to another camp. Here's some footage of us uh, traveling through a very, very pretty uh, village, Cloon, on the way here. And then we're going to attempt this. Hello, everybody. Well, one of the absolute joys of this camper life is all the little villages and mountains and hills and so on and so forth oh, oh, that we see. We're just in a place selling Wimbury ice cream. What is a Wimbury? I'd love to know. Flun in um, well, Shropshire or anything. Like yeah, we just crossed the borders, so we're not sure if it's clean or clun. Because, of course, Welsh pronunciation, English pronunciation. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh wow. Oh, so gorgeous. Just adorable. Oh, Gary, Jenny Carr's lurking around. Oh, oh, oh. door there that's got a window oh. just too high to see through but I mean this is a wonderful island on which we live it really is special yeah the amazing change in character without going very far yeah we've only come over the border like hopped over the border and it's just completely different your typical village with your village hall and they're having an art show in the community room and all that kind of stuff oh it's just achingly lovely Anyway, um, onto the campsite where I'm going to attempt a 60 second erection. Feeling confident. You got this. Right, here we go then. Can we do it in 60 seconds? We have to do this. Open the door up first of all. Allow some air in there. Get the frame raising. 15 seconds. Easy peasy. Thirty six seconds. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Then we've got to raise the front. Fifty seconds. Oh, 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 gotta get in. <laughs> Fifth, one minute. Woo! Did you clip the back pole as well? <laughs> well, there we go. That wasn't too Quite bad, was it, really? Right, on that side. I'll just go and pop the other side in. There we go. Really? It's not 100% ready. What? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Looks a bit wonk. Come out and have a look on that side by there. That does look a bit wonk, doesn't it? Yeah. I think mean, it's because we haven't got the poles in the right places down here yet. But fundamentally, we're there. But the chronomatic theory stands, I suppose. Yeah. But there's still quite a lot to do. Well, there we go. It is six o'clock. We rolled through the gate here at five o'clock and we're done. We're, we are settled in. Uh, Belingo's emptied out uh, the uh, trailer tent. We've got tables, deck chairs. Miss Hudnut didn't read the um, description very well on the little <laughs> table. I think they were meant to be the um, same height. I, I don't want to even talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. We've got our um, chaos end. It's not chaos actually. It's quite organised. Sorry. Uh, organised end. Uh, we've got tea, strawberries, uh, the little fridge has made a return uh, the bed is all set up and Titch is waiting for food standard standard yeah seems a very nice little campsite so far yeah seems lovely yeah. you have utilized the facilities how were they yeah facilities are lovely good what looks like a shed on the outside it's all beautifully tiled and immaculate oh, inside and she'll go and frequent that in a moment before i cook dinner are you feeling more friendly towards the internet today did you do oh yeah checked out the internet and maybe it's not so bad after all yeah so this is us for three nights mm. we are getting into this we are i'm loving yeah. this i'm absolutely loving this now there's a yellow warning for <laughs> hail and thunder and torrential rain cool we're just outside that area but i suspect we are going to get our first test of wetness yes so exciting times yes oh no thirsty dog yeah it's all well and good doing the fair weather camping you've got to test it yeah you've the, got uh, to do it in all, in all elements yeah uh, we're still running on 
bottled water, albeit a recycled. Yeah, we haven't had because we've container. literally popped home and popped back again. Yeah, we, we haven't, we had haven't had chance. time to sanitize anything. Yeah, but. but there was a suggestion which I thought was a very good one yeah. of um, if you fill the tank with sanitized water, pump some of it through, like if you're cleaning beer lines, let mm. it sit in the system, do its job, and then pump it all the way through. But there is actually a reason we're here in Shropshire, which you'll see in a future video, and it involves this engine hoist that we've dragged all the way here. Mr. Hubnut, how are you finding your Bob office? Uh, it's okay, apart from this gap. Trying to get through that gap there. Not very easy. Well, you've got yourself a nice I've little setup there. Off at the table, I've got a tissue do at my feet. Far more comfortable than a tent would be, let's put it that way. Yeah, it'd be quite difficult to do this in a tent. It would be awful. The design is fantastic in here, but there is a slight issue that that table is maybe like 10, not even 10 centimetres, maybe 5 centimetres even would make a difference. Yeah. We'll Too we'll long. Just chop it. No. So it just makes squishing past it a little bit difficult, but it's only a minor, right. minor thing. It's time for that important part of the day. Yep, tea. cup of tea time. Good morning, everybody. You've joined us on a rather wet and windy morning. Please excuse Miss Hubner in bed. Uh, oh, trying to turn it to the door. What a twit. Hang on. There we go. Rather wet and windy morning. Bob has held fast. It rains from about four o'clock in the morning um, through to now. So yeah, Bob is doing really well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set up the table today because we haven't needed to. We've, we've dined al fresco. But um, that means before we do that, we're going to investigate the various paraphernalia to be found underneath this bench. Because some people think that the fridge drawers might be under here, but also lots of people have talked about an insert for the aqua roll, um, and that may well be in here as well. So we're going to have a little look. So here we are in the in the drawers of mystery. So over this side, we've got a couple of bedroom inserts. I know a couple of people were worried about um, insulating the bedroom, but actually, it's a little pod. All of that zips down. <laughs> this is just demonstrate a beautiful demonstration there. Um, it's a little pod and it closes up and it's so cosy, isn't it? It is. Really cosy. But anyway, onto the uh, gubbins and doohickeys that are in here. So, tin foil. Now, am I right in saying this is what we need to go into the aqua roll? I'm guessing that is not the correct ending, though. Uh, and then we've got some more piping just here as well, tubing. Um, the only thing is, yes, we've got these parts, but we will not be using those today um, or indeed this weekend because we haven't cleaned it out. And our good old Milton sterilising tablets have been mentioned. Uh, know those very well from my days of having babies. So these are the shelves. Ooh, a little bit of... That's from one of the bedding doodahs. That's from one of the pods, look. Oh, you interested? Diego's interested. Diego is interested. I don't quite yeah. know. <laughs> wow, Diego, what is it? So here we go. Uh, when I worked with caravans, um, it was a perennial problem, fridge shelves, because they all seemed to be different. We had stacks and stacks of them all over the place that just didn't fit. So uh, I hope by some miracle these are them. But it looks right width. The difficulty is getting the door wide open enough. Excuse me, let's have a look. <laughs> yep, dog in the fridge. <laughs> this is. Oh! Mm. Mm, this one's interesting. Ah! Ooh. So that one goes there. That's a really narrow shelf. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think that one's going to stay there. It's just that <laughs> there appears to be a <laughs> I guess we'll be sanitising the fridge before we, use. We, will, we would be anyway, love. We would be anyway. Um, excellent. Uh, and yeah, it is indeed a three-way fridge, this one. So it can do the 12 volt, the 240, and the... Um, the gas, gas we're not using. Well. But those are indeed the fridge shelves, so thank you very much guys for noticing that. That was much appreciated. And they're in really good nick because usually um, you find in caravans people put things that are too heavy in these doors and then they break off and then you have to find a new one and that's a nightmare. But that is brilliant, that's brilliant. That is progress, progress indeed. Well it couldn't stay fair weather forever could it? We've got um, rain today and though it's easing off we are not going to get this thing dry 
before um, we have to go home. It's definitely going to need reproofing. It's not bad. We've not got any drips coming in, but there are areas like this where the water is clearly seeping through the canvas slightly. That's a bit of a catch point because the water runs down the plastic. The plastic's on the inside and uh, it sort of pulls at the bottom. And we really did have an awful lot of rain last night. We're just in the midst of packing up. Miss Hubnut's just gone for a shower. Do all the hard work, then shower. I think that was a comment I saw that someone left. Diego is on full alert, our security dog. Uh, second security dog is just chilling out on the floor. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to put it down wet. Not ideal. Um, might try and dry some of it as we go. But we're going to have to put it up at the other end. And that is a slight issue. We don't really have anywhere to store this um, folding camper as yet. So we haven't actually got anywhere to um, put it up and dry it out. Uh, so we're going to have to work out that. But yeah, it's been another pleasant stay. We've rejigged the um, sleeping arrangements and uh, swapped places and both had a much more comfortable night in the end. For you do down here had to be wrapped in um, blankets and on the second night because it got really cold. It was down below 10 degrees, but we were snug as a bug. This um, little pod really does say, stay very cozy indeed. It sounds like we might yet get more rain. What's going on, security dog? Are there people at the campsite? How absolutely horrendous of them. But yeah, we had great fun yesterday. Yesterday was the main point of this trip uh, with the engine hoist. That will be coming in a future video. Um, some old friends. And uh, yeah, we, we're now going to head off to Aberystwyth where there's an Italian car meet. So I'm wearing my Because French t-shirt because I don't have an Italian one. And uh, yeah, it's been another pleasant trip. So we're still finding our feet, finding out what works, what doesn't work. Still quite a lot to do. But uh, so far, really enjoying the folding camper experience. Big shout out to the Conway Owners Club. Uh, they've actually got a really useful website, loads of guides and stuff on it. And uh, that has been essential. And thanks to everyone who's left useful comments as well about things like the hitch damper probably being worn, which is why we're getting that slight thump under braking. Uh, we're next going away for Festival of the Unexceptional, which is next weekend now. And uh, I've got some work to do on this. I think that wheel bearing is a little grumbly for my liking. So um, that's going to have to be addressed. Got some work to do on Bella as well. But whether we can get it done in the coming week, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, loving camper life. Just packing up and we have had a tarp related incident. It's come completely undone on this seam here, which is an absolute swear word. But... Uh, we do actually need a new tarp, just need to find a green one. Good morning all, you join us as we pull away from uh, Wayside Camping near Craven Arms. This is a really lovely site. As you can see, the pictures have a hard stand in and then you've got a lawn to the side as well. So for us with Bob, we've got a lawn, isn't it? Yeah. But it means if you've got a bigger tent, bigger caravan, whatever, you've got the room to spread. I think they're probably about 10 metres by about 8 metres. Um, it is also an event space as well. Um, you've got block. your toilet block, you've got ladies and gents, and importantly, you've got a family room as well. So if you've got little ones, you know what a joy that is trying to get changed with children hanging off you and whatnot. So uh, yeah, there's a motorhome service point just there as well for emptying your toilets, throwing your water, etc. Um, bins recycling, washing up. And then there's the reception, which also has a little store as well. So if you need any essentials, it's got various odds and bods that you might need absolutely and very secure as you can see you have to beep yourself in and out um, and you're all checked in on on reception so very secure very safe site very clean um it was really nice wasn't it oh my god i forgot something vitally important it's got a bar has got a bar yeah. has got not bar. sure it opens every night but no. uh, there is a bar i think it might be weekend nights but um yes that was an exciting discovery says the woman who sits in her uh, camper and uh just dips wine there instead. <laughs> yeah, so off we go. I will say, I, I think my biggest issue with the site was probably the people on it. There were some, um, definitely some night owls um, enjoying the night. And well, you don't want to sort of be a complete party pooper and such things. When you're still partying at one o'clock in the morning and other people are trying to sleep, maybe not ideal. There didn't appear to be a noise curfew uh, at this site. But uh, that's made a grumble. Yesterday I was so tired I could s I slip through anything. And in fact did, because we had quite a lot of wind. You did, Torrential yeah. rain. 
I slept through the whole lot. Yeah, and with regards to wind and torrential rain, Bob has come through that beautifully, actually. Yeah, it's Bella, but isn't quite so good um, because I shall ask my camera lady to point out that when I operate the front wipers, the rear wiper also operates like so, which would be fine, but it does it every single time. <laughs> So, also, also, we had had... Oh, look at the old buildings here. It is beautiful. It's really beautiful around here. This is kind of borders Shropshire, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's, it's different again to North Wales, where we were last week. Mm. It's different to home. Yeah, it's wetter than Wales. It would have... It is wetter. It. Yes, welcome to July in the, yeah. in the British Isles. <laughs> we, we are having some minor issues today. We've got the, the fact that, uh, obviously, we've had to pack away wet. Not ideal, and it is properly soaked. And because the water's not running off the canvas, it's kind of soaked in. And then you fold it down on your bed. So that could be seen as problematic. We'll yeah. have to try and get it up again, pardon the expression, as soon as we can to actually yeah. dry it out. Hopefully tomorrow, because hopefully there's going to be a thing happening tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully there will be a space we can actually put it. Woohoo! That'd be good. We'll ask our landlady nicely. But mostly we're going to go away in it, because we haven't actually got anywhere to park it, so we better just stay away in it. <laughs> It's not that at all. Uh, genuinely, I am having such a lovely time in our little camper. We you haven't... show your face while you're... Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, so I'm really, really enjoying spending our time in Bob. We're still very basic. We haven't fixed the oven or the fridge or um, the water. I think this week we've got quite a lot to do with Bob. We've had a horrible tarpaulin incident. Oh, um, yes, that was the other yeah. thing. The tarp ripped on the back corner. Yeah, not it's good. it's a seam has come undone. So. I might give that a little go at sewing, but uh, I think really we need a new tarp and definitely yeah. a new, at the very least we need a new cord because uh, it really is like on its last legs. Yeah. Uh, we need to, I think if we can melt and sterilize the aqua roll, just so we can use the aqua roll, not necessarily as a pump or anything, but just as a water well, container. I think we've got the pump in there. We have got the pump in there, we found yeah, it. So we can use it as it should be, although oh, yeah. we've still got slight issues on the electric side. That could be something to do this coming weekend um, we'll give that a go uh, gas and electric not gonna happen anytime soon because we've got to get it health checked by somebody that knows what they're doing um, but yeah we're fine we've got a one ring hob that we use and we've really done some cooking this weekend we've had steak dinner yeah. and we had um, stir fry and uh, chicken fried rice so we've done really well and baker sandwiches obviously yeah essential. obviously essential and cups of tea many cups of tea um, and our little fridge, the 10 litre little sub cool fridge, is really brilliant actually. For a weekend with us in there, it does just, it does the job, doesn't it? Yeah. And of course we had the amazing discovery of the fridge shelf. So it's been a really, really good weekend and I'm looking forward to the next one. We're at Festival of the Unexceptional next and we need to book some, some somewhere. <laughs> Do you want to go this way? I am confusion. Ooh, we're off, we're off on a detour. Oh, sat now, what the hell? Now this is one little foible that we are discovering um, with using Waze and Bob, is that Waze takes you all over the random places. Yeah, we're down roads. You don't want to be reversing a trailer on, ideally. Yeah, really not, really not. So we're just headed to Aberystwyth now. We're going to the, um, it was pan, 100 brake horsepower, uh, 100 brake horsepower pandas and Italian meat, isn't it? Yeah, it was just the pandas and then it seemed to broaden out yeah. into um, Italian. We may so, see two hundred brake horsepower pandas. We see practically every so, day. Yeah, so we're turning <laughs> we're turning up with a French um, car and a British trailer tent. Somebody suggested taking a focaccia with us. Okay, what's yes. one of them? A bread, an Italian bread. Okay, and then we're Italian. Yeah. Cool. And also, somebody made a sarcastic comment about the last Italian car that we bought. Okay. As in Delia. Ah yes. <laughs> oh come on, that would be nice to rock up in Delia. All the super cool 100 brake horsepower pandas and then do Oh, bless her little cottons. Anyway, ever onwards, folks. Well, we've had to call out recovery. There is uh, no point. Well, it'd be ridiculous to try and drive home on the bump stops while towing. It'd be ridiculous to attempt to even not towing. But yeah, that is unhitched and we are still absolutely slammo. So very likely we've snapped a torsion bar. So even if one side's still okay, it would still absolutely collapse. Um, but yeah, that is, um, 
We are hard slammed, people. We are hard slammed. This is the coolest I've ever been. Unfortunately, we haven't slammed the front end, despite that end having a broken spring. So there is going to have to be some expenditure. I was hoping to spread out getting the front sorted out, because we know we've got a cracked spring there, and then get the rear sorted out. But uh, yeah, that's uh, not the ending we hoped for. And uh, yeah, that, that, I think that's going to be the end of this one. We'll let you know how the recovery goes. It's auto-aid. I've had very good experiences with auto-aid in the past. We've already had Linwood Garage assigned to the job. Uh, Linwood Garage are up that hill somewhere in Capel Sion. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be with us fairly soon. So let's see. But yeah, that, that is temporarily the end of Bella de Bolingo. The vehicle that was meant to be taking us to Festival of the Unexceptional next weekend. So now we've either got to get the suspension front and rear rebuilt on this car next week, or we need to find a different tow vehicle. Hmm. Find out what we do in a future video. Farewell. <laughs> Doom. If in doubt, have a car picnic. Yep. <laughs> it is um, a delightful day. Oh, it's glorious. Let me show you folks. Mm. Just lovely. <laughs> it's um pathetic fallacy it's reflecting mm. the traumas on our in inside on the outside of oh,